Hi, I'm Jennifer Nascimento, founder and English teacher at English Outside the Box, and you're watching 5-Minute English. Five Minute English is a weekly video series. I create five minute English lessons to help you, an English learner, take their skills to the next level. Watch all of my five minute English videos and get updates every week by hitting the subscribe button. Every five minute English video is connected to a full English post with more examples, sentences, and of course, practice exercises. If you're watching this on YouTube, check the description of this video below to find the blog post for even more learning. But let's get into today's lesson. Today's English lesson is all about American pronunciation. Specifically, we're going to be talking about heterophones or heteronyms. Hetero what? Let's have a quick review of some important terminology. Heterophones and heteronyms are an example of a homograph a homograph is a word that's written the same. Homo same, graph written, written the same. Got it? A homograph is always written the same. However, it can have different pronunciation, a heteronym, or it can have the same pronunciation, a homonym. In case you're a visual learner, take a quick look at this picture here. Remember, a homograph is a word that is written the same. It can have the same pronunciation, and then it's called a homonym, or it can have different pronunciation, and that's called a heteronym. Today we're going to be looking at heteronyms, words that are written the same but have a different pronunciation. As an English learner, it would be very confusing to know which pronunciation is which. If you see a word like this, how do you know where to put the stress? Is it produce or produce? We're gonna find out today. When it comes to heteronyms, there's a pretty simple rule that you can follow to help recognize and produce the correct pronunciation. Remember when I gave the example of this word here? I said it could be produce or produce. First, we must identify what the part of speech is. Is this a verb, is it a noun, or is it another part of speech like an adjective or an adverb? This word can be both a noun or a verb. We'll be focusing on these two syllable words that are nouns and verbs. When a heteronym is a noun, we're going to put the stress and put the accent on the first syllable. For example, produce produce. I always buy fresh produce at the store. Produce. However, when the word is a verb, we're going to put the accent or stress on the second syllable. Produce. Produce. I always produce my best work at night. Produce. Let's review some different examples together. Let's look at this word here. As a noun, it's an insult. The insult was very rude insult. If it's a verb, it's insult. He insulted me today. So insult, noun, insult, verb. The final words we'll review today are this word here. As a noun, conduct. Verb, conduct. The next word, noun, progress. Verb, progress. Rebel, rebel. Address, Address, present, present. On the learning blog, you'll see some sentences to practice. Make sure you're pronouncing these words correctly. Read these sentences and follow along. Head to the blog and start practicing now. Going to englishoutsidethebox.com slash blog or finding the link in the description below. In the description, you will also see a way to sign up for my newsletter. Every week, I send my subscribers two English lessons to help improve their English skills. So if you want to get on that list and you want to learn every week with me, then sign up for that newsletter. You can also comment below the blog or this video with questions, your practice sentences, and a chance to receive feedback. I'm making this video to help you, so let me know what you think. Do you have any questions? I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you learned a lot in this short five-minute English series. Happy studying! Don't forget to subscribe. Click here to subscribe and for access to more five-minute English videos.